Hello. We're now getting on our plane, Vietnam Airlines, the Trang to Ho Chi Minh City. This is the airport. We got there on the bus. There we go. Very boring video for you all. Um, for all you plane spotters, Airbus A321. Um, so we've arrived in um, at our last stop in Vietnam, Ho Chi Minh City, otherwise known as S -S -S Saigon. <laughs> Thought I'd give you a little flavour of our ride from the airport to our hotel in District 1. Um, it's not too bad actually, it's more cars than we've seen elsewhere. Shed loads of bikes as normal. I suspect we've got quite a bit of a way to go yet. Marshal the horn always works. Typical junction coming up. So we've arrived at the Prague Hotel in District 1. We are in room 503, which uh, doesn't have a window, literally doesn't have a window, but we knew that. There's, uh, she came with a room, I don't know what that's about. <laughs> <laughs> it's a room, big telly. Who needs a view when you've got a big telly? No window. Hmm? Um, yeah, and, and a set of scales to weigh yourself just in case you put on too much weight or lost a lot in cast case. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, there's me. <laughs> there you go, bathroom shower, blah blah blah. No window, Tom. Funny, I haven't mentioned that. No. We'll paint a mural on there like that. Uh, just want to take you a very quick video. Um, we've seen this a few times in uh, Vietnam, and I find it hilarious. Um, they provide you with a safe in um, wardrobes. What is unusual about that, you ask? Not much. Uh, you know, the standard sort of thing. You put the thing in there. You put a code in the door. It locks. It's great. Puff, <laughs> puff, and then you can just pick the whole thing up and move it up. Um, so this is the rooftop um, pool area at the Prague Hotel in Ho Chi Minh City. It's also where we have breakfast down there somewhere. Cass can have a look. Um, we opted for a, a room without a window, which seems bizarre. But when we looked at Saigon and the views from the windows, this is what you get. Uh, don't really fancy opening the curtains and looking out onto that sprawl. Not really a pretty city so far. So yeah, there isn't a, a view from anywhere in the hotel, so um, a windowless room seemed perfect. It's roastingly hot though. We'll see if we can find the sites and uh, wherever they will, they will be somewhere. And who look is this? Here we are in Ho Chi Minh City, the city that clearly never sleeps or shuts up. But this is just one of the main roads we're just walking along. Um, the traffic is mad. The diesel fumes is chaotic, loud. We're now along a road by the bank of the river. We've passed through some very poor districts through a hugely affluent um, shopping mall. So there's really a huge differential between rich and poor in this city, without a doubt. And it's just a bit full on and mad. You know, and if you like that kind of thing, great. I'm not sure it's my bag to be fair.
but anyway this is just a little taster of one of the main streets in Vietnam and you've got people everywhere saying do you want this do you want that do you want you know you're evidently wearing sunglasses and a hat do you want some sunglasses well no not really thanks do you want a lift do you want this do you want that so it's just a bit manic we're at a we're at a fountain on the main street which I think is supposed to look like Champs Elysees in Paris and there's a fountain that starts up. Ian's going to go through and see if he can get through before it starts there. There he goes. You have to walk, you're not allowed to run. Walking only. Yeah, come on. He's contemplating his fate. I expect it's on a timer of some description. Come on then. You could have got there and back by now. You could have got there and back by now, go on. Children are walking through it, Ian. Go on. Yeah. And at the moment, you're like a little big pussy cat. Right, I'll go. You hold the camera and I'll go. Ah, you see, as soon as I introduce the element of competition, you're off. Go on then. Oh, he's going. He's going. He's going. Oh, tentatively off he goes. I knew if I said I'll do it, he'd go straight across. Well done.